So we got a big step coming up. What's that? We're putting the step on the side of the airplane? You got to learn how to be a painter. Painter? I mean, I, we paint rooms inside the house all the time. It's the same thing, right? I think it'll be a little different. A little bit different. So how was the journey in figuring out how we were going to paint the inside of this uh, airplane? Well, there was a lot of YouTubing. A lot of YouTubing. A lot of Googling. And like any time you go down the YouTube and Google and track, you get 800 different opinions and uh, you end up more confused than when you started. And then you finally just went to a paint store and talked to somebody who we knew a little bit more than us. Yep. So we are kind of following automotive paint rules on this. Went to Tasco locally here in the Austin, Texas area and asked them and described what we're painting, how we're doing it and what they recommended independently i had talked to my amp who had recently done a paint job on um, a repair on a certified airplane and they both agreed on the exact same thing even though i didn't um allude to one saying the other and so that's what we're going with so what are we painting with ppg paint they have a line called Shop Line. It's an automotive paint, so traditionally used to do the outside of cars, inside of cars, you know, the really nice paint jobs. This is not a top of the line paint uh, line that they do have much higher quality that's higher than this, but this is, you know, infinitely better than going to Home Depot and just getting spray paint or whatever like we did in our last uh, test video. So, this is a one-shot do-it-all. It is a base coat and a, uh, a little bit of a clear coat built into it. So you shoot it once, um, one pass, probably do uh, two coats on it. But um, we don't have to change mixtures and do an independent clear coat. How much of our paint job is actually going to show when we're done? Not much. Not much. So why are we painting the inside of the airplane? Protection. Okay. Uh, I think I'm going to go with that. I'll be honest at this stage, I am not 100% sure why are we painting the inside of this airplane. We had that thought of, like, forget it, let's not paint. Well, it'll look pretty until we get the interior down. Yep, so it's kind of under the category for us. Let's do it. So uh, it helps uh, in the um, paralysis by analysis syndrome. So what is shop line? So the code on it is GAU. Uh, this is the, um, you mix it four parts paint to one part, this is reducer, to one part hardener. So we've got the paint, the reducer, and the hardener. Paint, that's how obvious what paint's for, right? What color is it? It's red. She trusted me to go to the paint shop by myself and pick the red. I knew you would get a pretty red. No, the one thing I'll give the guy at the shop credit for is super nice. I walked in and said, look, I'm, I'm a noob. I know nothing. I'm going to annoy you. And he really took the time to help me and did not make me feel stupid and actually made me feel like we can do this. He gave me the, the book of the different colors. And I said, I want this color. He's like, take it outside. Take it outside in the sunlight. And I was like, ooh, no, I want that color. And he's like, yeah, the, the the lights inside the shop, you're never going to pick the right color that way. Really? He was really, um, really detail-oriented that way, and I appreciated that. So the goal, and yes, they gave us free filters. So to mix this up, what our plan is, this is how we think it's going to go. We are recording this episode before we do it. So we can document what we think. There will be a follow-up as an episode of... What we actually did. <laughs> yeah, or what we think now. <laughs> so we got two free cups for mixing. And fancy little guides on it. So we find the four to one to one, which is right here. So we get this nice four to one to one scale. Uh, super simple. We pick a number... You know, six, seven, we'll probably go all the way to seven. Fill the paint up to seven. Fill the reducer up to the seven mark, and then the hardener to the seven mark, and it does the perfect mix for us. Then high-tech mixing. Get the stir stick out. Get all that done. Of course, we will pour it through a filter as we pour everything into here, and then we'll use a filter again 
when we go into the gun. So paint makes sense. Reducer, the paint's too thick, won't spray nice. The reducer makes it a little bit more runnier and liquidier and sprayer. I'm making up words here. Okay. We're good, right? Yeah. You like these words? So it gets it the right consistency for the spray gun. Hardener is just like any epoxy uh, based item. Um, it, it's what actually causes the whole thing to cure. Okay. Now, what I have learned, we have medium hardener. And he checked the forecast for temperature before selling us medium. You get slow, medium, or fast. It's cold outside, you want fast. If it's medium, kind of like we're expecting in the low 80s, you want medium. Uh, and then if it's really hot outside, you want slow. Really? Yep. So okay. that's just one of the things. And he actually asked, when are you planning on painting? And because he almost went and he, he made sure we got the right thing. Not the... Yeah. It's not... Super hot one. Yeah, I don't think it's super sensitive. Uh, and also, if you're painting wide, long, big areas, you want it to stay wet longer, you may want to go with something slower than that. But for what we're doing, I think we're in good shape here. Okay. Then we get to the gun. So we went to the store, and you were looking at them. Why did you pick that one? Prettiest. So, obviously... We're not going to do a lot of painting. We're going to paint the inside where it is not going to be very visible. I am not signing up to paint the outside of this airplane. We're paying professionals. Oh, I'm aware. Okay. So we're paying the professionals. I love how creative you are, honey, but that's not your thing. So, you know, Harbor Freight is half of our build. So, you know, we went to Harbor Freight and you can get the $13 gun. And a lot of people have had good luck with a really cheap gun from Harbor Freight, um, mainly for priming. Okay. All the resources that I've seen online uh, that I've been using to educate myself on painting, cheap gun for priming, you know, always have, like, even if you have a nice, nicer gun, save a cheap gun for uh, all your priming and use this for your base coats and your clear coats. So we went and Harper Freight had a sale. So the, their fancy, um, was it the, the, the Black Widow Spider, um, gun which is their 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 highest end was on sale so we went ahead and picked it up so then we had the choice hvlp high volume low pressure or hta high transfer efficiency i've heard more about hvlp i've seen the acronym more so that's why i chose it not the most scientific and well-studied reason um i think for interior you'd be fine with H hvlp or hte we're going to paint it this weekend, and I'll tell you if I'm, I'm wrong. Um, but it uh, on the box, it actually said, this is for primers and base coats, and the HTE is for uh, top coats and clear coats. So this is more along the lines of what we're spraying, so I went with this. I think it's going to be a good job. I kind of did a little history of what why HVLP is a thing. It, turned out it was more of an epa thing because the old pink guns sprayed so much that didn't transfer to the surface that uh they came up with a standard that is more efficient and of course it is not as good as just blasting it with as much paint as you want as you can tell we don't have a lot of paint we don't have a lot to paint yep so he was like well tell me how big of an area you're painting are you talking like a fender or uh, a side panel or like a bed of a pickup truck. I was like, think bed of a pickup truck. He goes, okay. And he went and got all this stuff for us. I really love working with professionals. Um, this is after I stopped by uh, a PPG store before Tasco. And the crew there, they deal with mainly residential paint. And I walked in and explained, and I was like, I'm intrigued, but I have no clue how to help you. I really really enjoyed talking with those people because again here i am the the idiot walking in without knowing anything and they really helped me they actually called around and found tasco for me to get this stuff um so shout out to the people in the south austin um ppg store uh, i know you uh, started subscribing to the channel so you may actually watch this thank you for uh the great hospitality and the help to get us here so now all we have left to do is uh, a little prep work, right? Like about five, ten minutes worth. Of a little, a lot of prep work. Starting tomorrow night, which is Friday, 
Saturday is going to be uh, all day, all day full, full blown prep work. Um, going to scuff everything, whether it's primed or not. We're going to really take care of scuffing uh, any bare aluminum that's in there. We will degrease, clean, wash. Uh, as soon as we start the degreasing process, we're going to switch to gloves only, so we're not going to touch anything inside. Then uh, Sunday morning, it's time to take this off the rotisserie and magically transport it next door. Not sure strategy there yet. Uh, it might end up on this desk, which has caster wheels. And we may take it, it'll triple the length uh, that we got to take it. But down the driveway, down the street, and up our neighbor's driveway who has a paint booth set up for us. Or we go ahead and take this over there and then we just get two or three people and we just carry or fly. Keep so, hope. Keep, keep hope. As long as we're making airplane airplane noise as we do it, I think it's fine. So we'll have to make sure we get footage of um, the transport. The move. Yep. So we will break this into a couple of videos where uh, we cover what we think we're going to do, what we're using, the, the shop line product, and how we prep it. Then we'll cover the paint, and then we'll cover the lessons learned. So... That's our project. See you next time.